bring your knees mat with distance. Go ahead and take your sitting bones onto your hips and take your hands and just press your sitting bones down towards your heels. From here, roll your shoulders down your back, lift your chest, uh, keep the connection of your sitting bones down onto your heels, and then go ahead and start to walk your hands forward. Right away, you're gonna wanna lift your hips, keep your hips down, and, and then walk your fingers towards the front of your back. Oh, it's okay if your butt lifts off your heels, you just wanna keep the length in your spine. Look up, take a nice breath in, and then exhale, allow your forehead to go down towards your back. And continue to crawl your fingertips forward. And soften your jaw, close your eyes. I'm gonna take this first moment in your practice just to get nice and quiet. And full breath in. And then breathe out. I'm going to take a smooth breath in through your nose. And then exhale out. And as you breathe in, see if you can expand your rib cage in the back, in the front, to the sides. And then as you breathe out, just let go. And check in with how you're feeling emotionally energetically, physically, and mentally. Let's soften your inner thighs. Take one more breath here. And then breathe out. And then child's pose is always a place that you can come back to. And then from here, shift forwards, tabletop. And stack your shoulders directly over your wrists. And bring your knees underneath your hips. Roll your shoulders down your back. And then find some engagement in your core. You're going to lengthen your tailbone. Draw your front ribs in. Bring your knees together. And then extend your right leg towards the back of your mat. Square your hips down. Lift your right leg up. Look up. And take your left arm forward if you want to add a little balance challenge. Re-engage your core. Press your right hand strongly down into your mat. And then pull your fingertips forward. Press your right leg towards the back of your mat. And turn your thumb to face up. Take a nice full breath in here. And you should feel a nice stretch in the back of your body. And then exhale, slowly bring your hand down, bring your knee back down to your mat. And cat pose, round your spine, press your palms, spread your shoulders. And then inhale, do the opposite. Keep your core engaged, you're not just dumping into your lower back, I think Janet calls this bunny in the back. Mm -hmm. So core stays engaged, roll your shoulders, lift your chest, breathe in. And then exhale, exaggerate. Round your spine, press your palms. Uh, find a neutral spine, knees together, look up. Extend your left toes towards the back of your mat. Lift your left leg. Uh, if you want an added balance challenge, extend your right arm. Reach your right fingertips towards the front. Uh, think about one long line of energy. Push through the arch of your left foot. Reach your right hand forward. Uh, lift up a little bit higher, press away from the ground. Breathe in. And exhale, slowly release. Hand down, knee down. Good. From here, take your knees hip width distance, tuck your toes, press your palms, and just hover your knees one inch off the ground. Find a cat like that. Pull your navel, a little bit of core engagement. I like to think about core, it's, you're using it all throughout your yoga practice but really to support your lower back. Uh, relax your jaw, press your palms, and, and from here, downward facing dog. Today, turn your hands slightly out, uh, so your pointer finger is going out. 
Point your finger out. This just gives you a little bit more room for your shoulders. If you have tight hamstrings, take your feet mat with distance. Nice little loop. I'm in the hip and off. Okay. So think about an upside down letter V. Good. Start with your foundation. Press your thumb down. Press your pointer finger down. Stretch through the inner arm. Push your hands into the ground. Like lift your heels and just work your spine up. Like press your thumb and press your pointer finger. Relax your head. Good. Heels high. Lift your hips. Ascend your hips up. Press your chest towards your thighs, and then engage your legs. Take your thighs back, lift your shins up and back, and then reach your heels down. They don't have to touch the ground. Reach your heels down from behind your knee. Breathe. Good, breathe out. I think downward facing dog is one of the hardest poses in yoga. There's so much going on. But again, this is a practice of being present and engaged. But and just building your awareness. But from your high plank, turn your palms to face forward. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Push your heels towards the back of your mat. And then imagine dragging your hands towards your toes. Chest is lifted. But re-engage your core. And then make the back of your neck long. Look down at your Full breath here. And exhale, downward facing. Turn your hands out. Slide slightly so there's more mobility and more space for your shoulders. And walk your hands to the back of your mat. Take your feet as wide as your mat. And parallel the arches of your feet so your toes are facing straight forward. And then from here, Bend your legs a little bit. Roll your shoulders. Look up. Imagine you're going to pull your chest through your shoulders. This is a really nice opportunity if you have blocks or books and your legs are just so, so tight. You can always put your hands on blocks. I'm going to show that really quickly. Uh, because I know in studio we have tight legs and that's good to be tight. That means you have muscle there. We just want to make sure that we're not pulling anything and we're keeping the legs engaged. So if you need to, put your hands on your blocks. Bend your legs, look up. Roll your shoulders down your back, look up. Now from here, press your feet, lift your hamstrings. Oh, I already feel it so much. Uh, keep the concave back, and then take your head down. Head down. Now, if you don't need the blocks, you're gonna put your hands by your feet. Continue to lift your hamstrings up, and take your spine down. The legs in yoga are really strong and rigid, and the spine is fluid. Good. Press the outer bone in your foot down. Press the ball of your big foot down, the ball of your big toe, and then press the center of your heel. Go up with your hamstrings, pull them up, and then exhale down your spine. Good. The spine is long and fluid. Breathe, breathe. I like to think about breathing. Inhale, feel the energy go up your legs. Exhale, go down your spine. Take your ears towards the ground. Good. Take your head down towards the ground. The head legs are strong. And then picture them really spreading. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. Another downward facing dog. Walk your hands out. But again, it's nice if your hamstrings are tight, just take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Good. Full breath in. Good. Breathe out. And then go ahead, step your right foot outside your hands. Good. Bring your back knee down to the ground. Untuck your back toes, maintain a long spine. Good. And then from here, right hand behind your head, breathe in, open your chest. Roll your left shoulder, twist, and then exhale, elbow down towards the ground. Little mobility. Inhale, open. 
Good, exhale. One more, nice and slow. Inhale, twist your rib cage. Press your left palm down. Good, and then exhale here. Couple breaths. Good. Just make sure that your right knee is stacked over your right ankle. Good. If it's accessible in your body, you can come down onto your forearms. It's a little bit too much for me. If you want to put your hands out on blocks, that's another option. And then everybody come onto your hands. Toe heel your right foot towards the middle of your mat. Press yourself up. Good. Now from here, take your tailbone, lengthen your tailbone down. A lot of times we can arch the lower back, especially if you're super bent either. So lengthen your tailbone down, front knee right over your front ankle. Roll your shoulders, interlace your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders again. Now hold down. Pull up, chest is lifted. Good. Look straight out in front of you. Good. Breathe. Good. And then from here, extend your arms straight up. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and face you guys. So, arms straight up. Pull on the sides of your body, point your fingers. Good. And then grab your left wrist, breathe in, go for length. And then exhale, side body stretch. You're just gonna pull your left arm gently up and over. Someone said yoga is kind of like golfing. So you wanna hold the, they call it a club, a bird in golf. Sometimes you can pretend that you're, you're holding your club and it, your club's a bird and you don't want the bird to fly away, but you also don't wanna kill the bird. So it's this softness, a little, little gentle. So notice if you're gripping or your jaw, you should see people's faces sometimes. Even my own body. And then come back to center. Like reach up, breathe in. And then exhale, go ahead and put your hands down on the ground. Now from here, I like to use blocks for this. You're going to take your hips back. Like press your right heel into the ground. Like push the ball of your boot foot forwards. Hips go back. Now the blocks are nice so that your spine stays long. Roll your shoulders. If you don't have blocks, fingertips on the ground, you're going for a hamstring stretch. I'm going to show this from the side. Without the blocks, my back gets super rounded. So you want to roll your shoulders, lift your chest, uh, breathe in. I like to use blocks. Breathe out. Roll that right hip back. Full breath in. Breathe out. Good, and then walk your hands forward. Plant your palms, stack your shoulders over your wrists, lift your back toes. Without moving anything, slowly transition back, high plank, breathe in. And then exhale, slowly lower all the way down onto your back. Good, from here, good, take your hands right by your side, bring your forehead down to your mat. Bring your legs together, press the tops of your feet, roll your shoulders. Lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Lift just your shoulder blades. Palms face down. And now from here, lift your arms, just your arms. Roll your shoulders, reach back. Uh, now from here, lift, lift up. Uh, your chest is lifting because of the work that your back body is doing. Uh, if it feels okay in your lower back, press the tops of your thighs, lengthen your tailbone, lift your legs on it. Continue to roll your shoulders, reach back. Good. And then take your arms in front of you. Thumbs up, extend. Good. Reach, reach, reach like you're giving somebody a present. Turn your triceps up, breathe in. And then exhale. You're going to bend your elbows, kind of like you're doing a pull up. Pull up here. Good. Breathe, open your chest. Good. And then exhale, sphinx pose. Bring your forearms to the ground. Like stack your shoulders over your elbows. And make the number 11 shape with your forearms. Palms face down. Roll your shoulders. Lengthen your tailbone. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Sometimes it's nice to watch TV. If we're watching a lot of TV right now, this can be an awesome pose to do. Helps with your thoracic spine. Pull in, breathe in. And then exhale, child's pose. Take your knees back. Want to extend your arms forward. And just feel some nice length in your spine. Go <sighs> ahead. Inhale to tabletop. All right, again, palms face out, fingers out, downward facing dog, touch your toes, lift your hips. Neck is relaxed, jaws relaxed. All right, three to four breaths here. And step your left foot outside your hands. Bring your back knee down to the ground. Untuck your back toes. Lengthen your spine. All right. I'm going to take your left palm behind your head. From here, press your right palm. Roll your right shoulder. Breathe in. Open your chest. And then the exhale, draw your elbow down. Let inhale open and exhale elbow down. And again, can you move with your breath? So the inhale, you feel space. Let the exhale, you let go. Let paint your palms or lower down to your elbows if that's accessible. And it's also always interesting to notice the difference in the size of your body. I just ask you to build awareness. Spread your toes, relax your jaw. And then everybody come back up onto your hands. Toe peel your left foot towards the middle of your mat. Stack your front knee over your front ankle. And then press yourself up. I'm going to face you guys. Roll your shoulders down your back. You can put your hands on your hips. And you can think about driving your elbows back. Oh, already my chest is so much more spacious. Like interlace your hands behind your back. Like pull down. And lift your arms slightly up. And then if your hands can't interlace behind your back, that's fine. Grab a rope, grab a shirt. And press your left foot, lift your chest, breathe. And then extend your arms up. And pull on the sides of your body. And then gently grab your right wrist. Breathe in, go up. And then exhale, side body stretch. And you want to feel this through your left quad, through your right quad, through your right so bad. And especially if you're sitting a lot during the day right now, really, really good to change the ranges of motion with your body. So we sit, we stand, and let's change the way. We're moving, change the planes. Right. And then slowly come back up, breathe in. And then exhale, we'll look for that hamstring stretch. Fingertips on the ground or on your blocks. Take your hips back. Uh, now press, dig your left heel into the ground. Lift your chest, breathe in. Uh, and then exhale, go forwards, lift your chest. Oh, my left hamstring is not well. <laughs> That's right, then that's why we're here. And roll your left hip back. And spread your toes. And continue to press your left heel down into the ground. And breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath here. And slowly come forwards. Plant your palms. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee, and then without moving anything else in your body, slowly go back. Breathe in. I breathe out. Good. Now, keep your toes tucked. Keep your legs engaged. Lift your belly. 
on upward facing dog legs. Stay lifted, toes stay tucked. Roll your shoulders, roll your shoulders. Press your arms, pull your chest through. Legs stay engaged. A lot of times when we do chaturangas, the legs drop, legs stay engaged. Lift your chest, breathe in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Full breath here. And breathe out. Good. Full breath in. Full breath out. And walk your hands to the back of your mat. Good. Now you can choose to keep your feet wider than hip width distance or bring your feet hip width distance. Well, just depending on how your body's feeling. Lift your legs. Uh, bring your chest down and fold. And then for right now, go ahead and grab opposite elbows. Like pull your hamstrings up. Allow your spine to descend down. Relax your jaw. Breathe. You want to feel like your sacrum is getting more space, your spine is getting longer, the back of your neck. You can picture there's two deadlifts, two, two kettlebells on your elbows and it's pulling your spine down. Continue to lift your hamstrings up. Then from here, bring your fingertips down to the ground. Keep your legs strong, reach your arms back and safely rise up. Good. Roll your shoulders down your back. Good. Bring your feet hip width distance, all ten toes face forward, and then just extend your arms up like you're going to hitchhike. Thumbs up. Good. Reach your arms above your head. Turn your palms down. Stretch your arms open. Open the chest. Good. Bring your hands towards one another. Thumbs up like you're hitchhiking. Good. Arms go up. Turn your palms down. Arms go out. Reach through your pinky and your thumb. Palms come towards one another, just a nice shoulder mobility. Thumbs up, fingers up. Then turn your palms down, reach out. And then just roll. All right, okay, we're gonna do a couple seated poses. And then we'll call it a day. All right, so from here, you're gonna sit up. Extend your right leg out and bring the sole of your left foot to your inner thigh. Now, Press your right thigh down. Look at your right toes. They face straight up towards the ceiling. Now, take your fingers. If you can, you're going to grab your toe. If you can't reach it, no big deal. Grab your shin. Uh, from here, open your chest. Reach your left arm back. Breathe in. And then exhale. Bend your right elbow. Reach your left arm over your head. Good. Press your right thigh bone down, uh, and then just go for extension. You're gonna feel this right here in your QL. A uh, really nice stretch. Okay, now the reason I'm having you guys you bend this right elbow is so that you can use it to twist open. If you feel any tension in your neck, sometimes it's nice to hold your head, reach through the elbow. Uh, now if your right hip is, left hip is coming off the mat, press your left hip down. Good, breathe. One more breath here. Good, and then slowly come up. All right, switch sides. Extend your left leg out. All right, and bring your right, the sole of your right foot to your inner thigh. Press your left thigh down. All right, press your right hip down. Grab your left foot or your shin. Open your chest, breathe in. And exhale, go up and over, up and over. Right, bend your left elbow. Right. Now, option if you want to grab, hold your head. Right. Rotate your right hip down towards the mat. And then extend. Good. Now notice if you can let your breath and your body connect, let it be really receptive. So notice if you're forcing the inhale, forcing the exhale, but just see where is there space to move and find some more softness, some lightness. 
good and then slowly come back. Good, you guys. Bend your left knee. Okay, from here, on, on easy pose, Sukhasana. If your body, if you can do double pigeoning, you know that, you can do that right now. But otherwise, you're gonna cross your right chin in front of your left. You wanna be a little bit, you wanna be compact with this. So knees, ankles, push your feet into your hands. Bring your fingers out in front of you. Roll your shoulders, lift your chest. Lift your chest, breathe in. Imagine dragging your hands back towards your body. And then exhale, go forwards. You wanna feel this in your outer hips. Now option to put your head on a block, a pillow, or a book. And one minute here. But if for any reason this doesn't feel right in your body, but the modification you can do is you'll lie down on your back, you'll cross your right ankle over your left side, and then you'll do figure four. So you can grab the top of your shin, or you can grab behind your knee, your knee is sensitive. If you're here, I'd go ahead and press your right thigh away from your body. I'd roll your shoulders, I'd buckle breath. taking the time to slow down. If you took the modification, I'd uncross your right shin. I'd take your left ankle over your right thigh, figure four. And then if you were sitting upright, Go ahead and switch your legs. Bring your left shin in front of your right. Remove the flesh from underneath your sitting bones. And then press your feet into your hands. Bring your fingers in front of you. Lift your chest. Inhale. And exhale. Walk your hands away from your body. And wiggle for some space in your torso. And then eventually let your forehead rest down. Option to rest your forehead on a block, a pillow, or let one minute. Take an extra breath. And walk your hands back up. And then everybody, we're gonna meet on our back. Bend your legs. Bring your feet hip-width distance. And just take a moment to lift your hips and slide your tailbone down. Lift your hips, slide your tailbone down. Take your hands behind your head, lift your shoulders, but, and then self-adjust. You're just gonna lengthen the back of your neck, but, and then gently put your head back down. And notice that there's a little bit more space through your spine. And then just rest. Soften your abdomen and feel your, like your lower back is releasing. Bring your feet together, lift your hips and then take your hips towards the right side of your mat. Bring your hips down, take your arms out to a T, 
Bring your knees in towards your chest. Breathe in. And then exhale. You're going to twist. Take your knees over towards your left elbow. And from here, put your hand, left hand on your knees. If it's okay in your body, look towards the right. to the left, hips down, arms out to a T, hug your knees in towards your chest, and then take your knees over towards your right elbow. Put your right hand on your knees, like look towards the left. Okay. Now if your left shoulder isn't touching the ground, that's fine, but soften it as if it was. Okay. And then relax your belly, disengage your core, and slow your breath. Knees back towards the center of your mat. And put your feet down. And then bring your hips towards the center. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Hug behind your knees. And then with your hands behind your knees, take your knees wide. Roll your shoulders down your back. And rock a little side to side. Now option to stay here. But if your lower back is going to stay flat and down, that means your lower back isn't here, keep your rooted back, your lower back rooted down. You'll take a non off and happy baby. Then you can grab your ankles or the tops of your feet. Uh, take your knees wide and down. Roll your shoulders. And then hug your knees and touch your chest. Roll your knees in circles. And then roll your knees again. Hug your knees into your chest and then rock and roll the length of your mat. And then find a seat on your mat. If you have time and you'd like to take a shavasana with legs at the wall, that can feel really, really nice. Otherwise, we're just going to sit together and just take a moment uh, to be quiet. So cross your legs, roll your shoulders down your back. If it resonates, you can close your eyes. Press your palms down or bring your hands to heart center. Lift your chest. And just take a moment to acknowledge all that there is to be thankful for. Thankful for your body that was able to do this practice. for your family, thankful for your friends, thankful for the home, the shelter, and the food that nourishes your body. And despite everything going on in the world, thankful that we have the opportunity to connect at any moment in our day. Whether that be through these workouts on the studio, or are you choosing to connect to your breath? Yoga is where I practice being the person that I want to be, engaged and present and aware. I'm going to take a full breath in. 
Put in their breath out. Put in that energy in. He really appreciates that energy in all of you. And I'll go ahead and open your eyes. And thank you guys so much for being here and for making the decision to practice. Because um, in such important times, it's so nice to feel grounded and connected. So happy, happy Thursday. Uh, namaste.